In section 1.1, .1, we posed a number of questions. One of them was whether a system of linear equations has solutions. And we kind of jumped over that to learn how to find solutions. But let's now return to that more basic question and state the theorem. Theorem. A system of linear equations is consistent, that is to say, has at least one solution, if and only if the last column of its augmented matrix is not a pivot column. That is to say, if and only if, after we perform Gaussian elimination, we don't get any rows that are all zero, except for a single non-zero element. Rows that look like this stop solutions from existing. Why would that be? Well, let's look at an example. Say that we're interested in this system of linear equations, and we want to know whether it's consistent, whether it has any solutions. According to this theorem, which I realize you can no longer see. But according to this theorem, we should write down its augmented matrix, perform Gaussian elimination, and look for rows like this, where everything is zero except for the last entry. Let's now do that. Once again, I'll perform the Gaussian elimination off camera. Here is the augmented matrix. Here is the augmented matrix after we perform Gaussian elimination. And you see that we do have a row like this. This third row here is all zeros except for the last element. And according to our theorem, that means that the system is inconsistent. But why does it mean that? Why does this theorem work? Well, remember, when we have an augmented matrix, each row corresponds to an equation. And each column corresponds to a variable, except for the last column, which corresponds to a quality. And in particular, then, what this last row is telling you is that 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals two. And this is an equation with no solutions. And because to be a solution to the system, you have to be a solution to each of the individual equations, that means that the system has no solutions.